They're chasing me! They're chasing me! No! No, 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 no. They, they must not catch me. I have enough money now. Yes. <laughs> yes, enough for my starving mother and brothers. No, oh, no, 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 please. Let me go. Let me go home before you imprison me. Please. <sighs> Very well. Officers, take me to your headquarters. Good morning, Captain. No, Captain, you are mistaken. I was once a good girl, just like the rest of you here, just like any of your daughters. But time was when I was reared in the slums. But we lived honestly. We lived honestly in life. My father, mother, brothers, sisters, and I. But then, poverty entered the realms of our home. My father became jobless. My mother got ill. The small savings that my mother had kept for our expenses were all spent. All for our daily needs and needed medicine. You see why I had to steal? It was all for the good of my mother, my siblings. No one else could do it but I. One night, my father went out, telling us that we'd be back in a few minutes with plenty of food and money. But that was the last time I saw him. He went with another woman. If only I could lay my hands on his neck. I would wring it without pain until he breathes no more. If you were in my place, Captain, you'll do it, won't you, Captain? You still would believe in me? <laughs> Come. I'll give you proof. I'll show you the dilapidated shanty by a railroad that we call our home. Mother, Mother, I'm old. But mother, 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 oh no, oh no, there, Captain, see my dead mother.
am I to be blamed for the things I have done? <laughs>